The Peru Beyond the Classroom program takes a group of students to Pisac, Peru, which is outside of Cusco, work with a group of communities that have started what's called Parque de la Papa, Potato Park. We do a series of projects with them over the course of two weeks. Well, I decided to go on the Peru trip because before even coming to college, I knew I wanted to study abroad. And being my first time out of the country, I thought it would be great to take advantage of kind of a pre-structured trip, like the one offered by the Honors College. And I chose Peru specifically because I always had an interest in indigenous peoples and their cultures. And this trip seemed like the perfect opportunity to learn more about that. I liked learning about new cultures and new languages, especially since going to the Andes seemed like such an incredible thing that I decided, why not Peru? So the biggest thing I learned was, well, it was a change in perspective. Interacting with the Quechua people and working on their farms and working with them in general kind of introduced me to a whole different perspective where you don't necessarily need what we have. You don't necessarily need an internet connection 24-7 to, to be happy and survive and, and live a productive life. I learned a lot from this trip. So much. I learned a lot about myself. Like I said, I learned a lot about indigenous peoples. I learned so much about Peru, the country, all of the beautiful landscapes, a lot of the socio-cultural and political issues that are dominating the country right now. I learned how much you grow when you go abroad and learn about a new culture. I think it definitely made me want to travel more in the future, even though I already had the goal of, of traveling in the past. This trip and just an amazing experience, the group of people I went with and the people I interacted with in Peru, just everything really came together and I just, I want to travel even more in the future. We worked with a clinic called the Centro de la Salud and seeing the doctors there and how dedicated they were to helping people with the few resources they have made me think, that is something I want to do. That is the kind of help I want to do in the world. I think my favorite memory was visiting Mount Asungate. I took the bus out to this, this glacier. It's in, still in the Sacred Valley of Peru, and it's one of the most sacred places to the uh, Quechua people. And the mountain is amazing. It's huge. It's covered in ice and snow. Um, with black rock everywhere. It's really a, a sharp contrast. And then at the bottom there's these turquoise lakes that are almost perfectly clear and then there's beaches on them on the sides with, with pebbles and you could see the mountain just looming over the village. It was amazing. Everything was my favorite part if I could tell you that. That's what I would say. But I think my most favorite part was getting to interact with people. All the friends that I made, even across cultural boundaries, and getting to learn about them and their lives and spend time with them, that was my favorite part. People should go on the Peru trip for the same reasons that students usually want to study abroad, from the different culture and the experiences and the food, but specifically the Peru trip, I think. If you have any sort of interest in humanitarianism and volunteering abroad, is because it gives you a lot of practical experience and a shift in worldview, I think, that is especially important. I think everyone should at least once take the opportunity to experience a totally different culture from their own. The people I met with the group that I went with in the Honors College um, were just some amazing students. I'm still really good friends with them. And then meeting the indigenous, the Quechua people uh, would have been impossible without the Honors College. It's a great experience. It's a great opportunity for growth, especially for those like me who might be more science-minded. It's a great opportunity to expand your horizons. And honestly, you'll just, like I said, learn so much about yourself, learn so much about another culture, another country, and you never know, it might kind of spark the travel bug in you like it did for me.